Okay, quick rundown. My good buddy Sack and I, Tessero, will open 24 packs of a new set starting from 1.0, accumulating cards every week throughout the series. We'll do the typical best 2 out of 3, and then during the next week, the previous winner will get to open 5 extra packs of any set we've done so far, and the loser will get to craft 1 super rare and 1 rare that they've already pulled, and also use a lifeline, which is usually another craft. Um, pretty basic stuff for these kind of series. And so, here is the Digimon card game something series. Okay, this episode we're going to start banning some cards. We decided together that after every three episodes, um, based on the win and lose rate, each player would get to ban some cards. Since the current record is zero to three, I get three bans, and he would get zero bans. And yeah, are... we're going to do some bans. Yeah, and these <laughs> are the bans I decided on based on the last past week's results. Positron has been completely screwing me over every time. Um, even mm -hmm. when I started putting some removal in my deck to defeat Rookie Rush, the Positron has made it so I've been unable to end games fast enough to make it matter. Uh, Puppetmon, he has four Puppetmons and I have zero, and that card has also been is consistently uh, pushing him towards a Rookie Rush strategy that I've been wanting him to be off of. And uh, I couldn't really decide on the third one really well, so I just decided that another... Uh, to ban Magna German because it seems to be another card that's pushing him into the, uh -huh. towards that strategy and another card that's been stopping him, stopping me from ending games even after uh, using removal to stop his Rookie Rush. So I'm thinking with these bans, I'll finally push him off of the Rookie Rush strategy and then we can start having more uh, more games where big removal level 7s like Omni actually matter and more, uh, more traditional, just less Rookie Rush in general. Any thoughts, uh, yeah. Zach? Yeah. R.I.P. Puppet. We didn't even get to see the chain. Rip. Magna play Bushi for game. Didn't get to see that happen either. I'm pretty sad. Pretty sad about Magna Dramon, mostly. I don't care about being off Ricky Rush. I should get off it anyway. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to keep that card as, like, a staple. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, fair enough. We'll see what happens with PT5 now. I don't know. We might implement unbans in the future then. <laughs> I'm thinking that by the time that we do that, Magna Jamon won't, won't matter anyway, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, welcome to BT5. We're going to open 24 packs of this. Now that we're at BT5, I feel like the power level of BT5 cards are big of a jump up over the previ previous few sets. I'm hoping that we'll actually shift our strategies a little bit more. Um, combined with the fact that I banned certain cards like Prozertron Laser, I think we're not going to see Ricky Rush as much anymore. And we're hoping, we're hoping to see a big shift in the way things are being played. But enough of that, let's just open our 24 packs. Secret Rare right away, Omni X. Omni X has historically been not that super great of a card, mainly because of removal. Especially during this era, where removal is just a lot of what people go for. Um, this ended up being more playable in the future, when Red got access to like Greymon X to protect it. Um, and X Antibody support was like helping the deck out a lot. Um, but we'll see if maybe I'll, whether or not I'll throw this in into an Omni strategy. Um, it's a pretty interesting card in general. I'm wondering if maybe games will be slow enough that I can like realistically evolve into Omni and then follow it up with Omni X. Other than that, we got Rosamond for our Digiburst green strategy. Okay. Right from Darkness, Argo, Dorbeck. Nothing too crazy here. Okay, Sukuyamon. There's no way he's on Rookie Rush again, but Sukuyamon. Actually, Sukuyamon is more helpful for... Hmm. I've, been, I've been having issues with him just moving out of raising and killing me when I'm at zero security. The lack of blockers is part of the reason, but Sukuyamon can help that out with. Um, and there's not enough OTK to make this uh, an OTK stopper right now. These are some solid eggs to pick up, though, at least. Dioboromon. Do I consider Dioboromon? Hmm. Maybe if I pull more of them. Chaos Gallant is actually interesting. That might push me to finally start trying purple out. I think I would need to pull um, some of the black or groundmon to consider Chaos Gallant. But it's a choice. 
Nightmon is important too if we end up going for the Lord Knight. I don't see myself doing so because we don't have the Elder Arm. But, you know, Lord Knight on its own is really, really strong strategy. Another Omni X? I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. Also crazy that we got defeat in the same pack. Again, this pack home murder. <laughs> Not the most accurate one. Defeat is super interesting, though. Honestly, tamers are not so strong that the tamer removal would actually be super impactful. But the security effect is, especially with the on deletion, if you can somehow take advantage of it. We've been getting a couple of these demonic disasters, which could help to delete our Omni One Zord defeats, as well as revive from the darkness. That could just kind of pushes me towards the purple strategies too. But I do kind of, I'm generally thinking mostly in terms of another defeat. Damn. I'm almost wondering if it was a bad idea for me to ban Magna Jamon. Because the BT5 security control strategy of just jamming a bunch of defeats and hoping and then healing to hoping to hit them. Sounds kind of fun, actually. Hmm. Maybe they do security Digimon that deck anyway. Because we just pulled so many. Easy Mimi does is actually a pretty cool tamer. It might help us out with uh, going green this time. Catastrophe Cannon's alright. Earth Shaker is all right. Not much to say about that. Gabu and Garu is good for blue. I don't know if I'm gonna stick to blue, but it is kind of an option to me still. If, I'm, if he's off Ricky Rush, the Garu Blue Ami strategy could be a lot more viable. Another Chaos Gallant. But I haven't seen War Growl yet. Not really sure if I can actually make Chaos Gallant work without it. Getting a lot of these self deletion purple stuff. But I just don't think I have enough. Ways to go white at purple to make it worth a while. Ooh. Now this might make black worth uh, looking at. Removal and security burn. Actually kind of solid. Shout the X is pretty interesting. It's small body removal. And it could be large body removal if I can find some Zeke Grays, which I still have yet to see. Other than that, Troopmon is an interesting one. Like I said before. Got a lot of self-deletion cards this set, uh, and especially in my pulls. Uh, if I have like, if I pull four Troopmons, that might be enough to consider those strategies. Okay, Armageddon. Hmm. I would need more Dio Boros to consider Armageddon really. And if we finally start getting into the into the strategies where both of us are relying on level seven on Evo effects. Then Armageddon just might be just, just a solid thing to to uh, to pivot to. More Starmons is good. Starmons is just a solid card. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, I'm worried that he might go back to Rookie Rush because Starmons in the set. God damn, Starmons and Spiral Market Masquerade are sort of what Rookie Rush sort of pivoted to um, and constructed during this time. I banned Puppet and Spiral, or Puppet and Positron to get him off of this strategy. I'm now starting to worry that Starmons and Spiral might put him back on it though. Let's hope he doesn't. I myself am getting a lot of Spirals, which is kind of crazy. This card is straight up banned. We cannot use any copies of those. <laughs> Unfortunately. Seeing a bunch of Nightmons, but I've yet to see a single Lord Knight. Okay, there's Black War Growl. So, maybe I can start, finally start playing purple here. I even have the defeats to, to evolve up into, and defeat itself. Like, yeah, it's not removal, but I can technically evolve into defeat, and then evolve defeat into X, and then maybe that could be good enough. Megidramon? Okay. Actually? With the two Chaos Gallants plus Megidra? Hmm. Couple that with all the self deletion I have. Could be a solid go wide strategy. Oh, Whistlin. If I stick to D Digi Burst Green with my Nidhogs and Rosemons, uh, Whistlin as my own personal uh, Positron could be huge. Stun Green could be on the table. I have a really solid green package already. Hey, Omni Zwart. Pretty happy to see that. 
This was one of my favorite cards back there in this area era, and uh, with all the chaos talents I've been getting, that could, this could be a real consideration for me. I'll have to double check if I have any chimeras to use with this too. I don't think, think I actually do, but we'll see. Ultimate flare is a common. Wait, ultimate flare is a common? That's crazy. This might make black actually really good to consider, especially since I got that metal garu earlier as well. Oh, there's mode. Okay, there's an Arata, which I feel like with only one Diaboro and one Arata, I don't think the Diaboro is going to be a consistent enough strategy to consider. I'd have to maybe use crafts to get a lot more of them. With the ultimate flares in this set, I'm starting to get really glad that I banned Magna Dramon, because I'm starting to think that security control could be a real, a real issue soon. And there's Zeke Gray as the uncommon too, which means uh, Shout isn't a... Uh... Shout could be a thing. I kind of like the, the tie-in mats too. I think the memory gain from it is really strong. Especially if both of us are on um, Evolve Up to 6 strategies. And it helps me to make uh, the Zwart Defeat strategy um, a little bit better. Swinging Zwart Defeat for 2 checks seems pretty strong. Hey, there's Lord Knight. I could always craft a second one. But I don't think that makes Yellow worthwhile. Especially without um, Valder Arm. Another tie-in mat. Kind of too many of these at this point. A second Lord Knight. Okay, so now it's actually worth considering. Hmm. I still don't really want to do so. Just because I'm lacking the, the Valder arm to work with. I feel like I'd want a good backup strategy though. To like, like backup level 6s to work with Lord Knight. Because just 2-3 to three Lord Knights by itself is not going to be consistent enough. Um, and my big other yellow level 6 right now is Shine Gray, and I just do not have the Tamer amount to make that worthwhile. Might hold on to this for later though, right? Because maybe eventually, like BT6, there's the the Kari TK, and with those, maybe Shine Gray plus Lord Knight could be a thing I could go for. Right. Takumi. It's an alright one. This could be another thing that helps me beat Rookie Rush, which I'm hoping he's not on anymore. Um, and then Zeke Gray, a second one to make Shout more consistent, but not at this point it's not much of a consideration because I only have the one. Hmm. Just notice we don't have any of, of Blitz Omni yet. Hexblow, okay. Um, I mean, this could be a solid, just generic blue if I want to go for blue Omni Turbo again. The last pack. War Gray and Megidra. Starting to like the idea of going mainly purple, trying to abuse Omni and Omni, or Zort Defeat, Zort and Omni X. Might have the purple cards to do it. Well, let's add the current opens to my collection and then open our promos. There aren't any like new promos for this set, so we're gonna go for the dash pack and the great legend power up pack from last set. I do remember, at least personally, we got a lot of these like distributed even with BT5. Another black work, right? That could come up in the future actually. Just having all of these. Maybe like BT8, Chimera, black or gray. It could be uh a thing to think about. Sunariza and Gato. Oh, I like these. Again, Sunariza might make black worthwhile, but especially since we actually have some removal in the color now. Maybe if I pulled more of the black Metal Guru Ramon, then I'd think about it. Gatamon's kind of cool, though. Probably doesn't matter what color I'm in. This just being an on-play recovery one might come up a little bit. All right, all right, all right. We got hit with the fat ban list. No more Rookie Rush. No more Magna Uh We got a box of BT5 to open. Let's see if we can figure out a new strategy with this bad boy. Uh, BT5, that is probably the best card I want to pull. The new Omnimon. Uh, a lot of support for archetypes I like. Greymon, Garu, Diaboro is hype. Silamon, we have access to blockers. Tessero was really lacking those prior. 
Uh, oh my, we got Zord defeat. Do we go from sec or not from, from Murky Rush to Secon? That would be so much fun. We got Mechanori. Hi. We got some more Diaboro cards. I, I don't think we pulled anything from 1.0 for Diaboro besides the actual Diaboro. So uh, I think that archetype is dead for now. Holy shit. We opened three packs and we got four Omnimons so far. And they're all different. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is awesome. Maybe I can do like a Megazoo type deck. And just say fuck monocolor this whole time. Exablau, yes, yes. That is what I wanted to play if uh, if I went monocolor. Uh, I always am going to be lean and blue, and I think Exablau is a very fun card. Uh, Lord Knight, holy shit. These packs have been bangers so far. We got so much ammo to work with this week. We can actually play something fun. Uh, Black Warg, not the one that I really want. Reflasia, that's all right. Uh, Really like the blue cards here, like that Agumon. Uh, second LK. Uh-oh, Tessero. We got some Starmons in here, too. I should be keeping track if I'm hitting Nightmon. Uh, oh my god, have we missed a Super Rare yet? Black Melga. Very good card. Arma. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, this is pretty much unplayable, but uh, funny if Tessero wants to keep playing Omni Thurbo. Second Hexablau. Oh my god, man. Have we just been getting ass pulls before this, or what? Because this week, it's really treating me well. Uh, Absolute Blast, I love this card. Spiral Masquerade will make a lot of sense in Lord Knight if we could actually put that together. Second Omni X. If we pull some more defeats, that'll be a really fun combo to do. Uh, oh, it's banned. We actually can't even play this card. That sucks. <laughs> got got excited for a second. Second Reflasia. We're actually pulling multiples of high rarity cards. This feels great. Uh, maybe I'll bitch about not getting rares this set, but here we go. We got something to make up for that. There's a Nightmon. There's a cute mon. Okay, okay. Uh, second Black War Growl. That's pretty good. Everything else, not great. Second Melga. Wow. I'm really curious what we're missing on with the super rares, because we're just hitting everything. Another Starmons. Let's see. Oof. Not a great pack. We got a Greymon at least. That memory Greymon is super staple. Second Blitz Omni, huge. Oh, okay. Chaos Gallant, I'm down to miss those. I'm down to miss the Tactimons. Uh, yeah, purple, not my thing. Tessero can keep that color. Uh, third Reflasia? Ah, fuck that. No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. Megidra, awesome. Awesome if I play a... If I play a second, If I deck out Tessero, that'd be insane. That might actually be like a like a bounty we need to make for this. Whoever wins by, by deck out, we need to get like a second box or something. But winning that style. Uh, is that three Hexy? That's three Hexy, I'm playing blue for sure. That's three Black War Growl. Uh, I don't think we really have an OTK to do this this early on in the game, but uh, still a very strong card. Get a free rookie. Oh shit! We got all these Omnimons and we just got all the lead. Oh, that's hype. Ultimate Flare is sick. I actually haven't noticed if I pulled that already, but that removal is insane. Uh, Whistlin', that is a... <laughs> That is our uh, Positron replacement, if we want to say fuck your ban list and keep playing Rookie Rush. Uh, last pack here, give me... Give me LK. <laughs> I kind of want to play yellow. Alright, alright. Earthshaker, MDF. Uh, no, this is pretty sick. I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. Let's save it to the collection. Three hex. Ooh, baby. That would be fun. Man, I want to build both! What do I play this week? Such a good problem to have. Alright, done with BT5. Let's check out the other product we get to do. So, uh, Tessero said we'll be reopening these uh, great packs for this week since BT5 didn't come with anything. As well as uh, my winner bonus will no longer be limited to these shit black and purple cards. I don't need them. Uh, I get a choice of a promo pack that's available to us, so I can take anything from Great Dash Pack to Special Release Memorial. I can uh, 
get any one of these. So uh, I'm most likely okay. Let's let's crack the great dash pack first. Pray for Black War. Block. All right. That's fine. Let's check out what we get. Power up pack, probably the weakest one here. Uh, second Demi Devi. Sonris is actually, uh, I think, the best card I could hope for from that. And now I get my choice promo pack. I think I'm actually going to go to the special box promotion pack. Uh, we've pulled this twice, and both times we've gotten Agu plus Greymon. Uh, it would be great to hit another copy of those. It would be great to hit the Garu as well. So let's see what we get. Nice. All right. This card is insane. It's limited to one for a reason. Uh, we'll get the Garu later. Five packs of ET5 winner bonus. See what we got. Uh, I mean, Greymon, Support, Gladi. Yeah. Not what we're looking for. Third Lord Knight. Oh, shit. Here we go. I think that might seal the deal. I think Hexablow gets to take a backseat. Another Starmons. A second Zort defeat. Oh my god. You know, Izzy Mimi reminds me, I don't know if we hit Sora Joe. That card's awesome if we ever wanted to go blue hybrid line. Nightmon, awesome. Suno, awesome. I don't know if we hit Koromon either. I should really be double checking this. Oh my god. So many Omnis, man. I really want to do a Mega Zoo style deck, but maybe that's a next week thing. Let's let's try to Let's try to put some Lord Knight together. I'll be back. Okay guys, looks like we're doing the Progression Series Classic. Losing with a deck, but then running it back with it. Again and again. We're back on Blue Omni. I considered a couple of other things I could be playing, like green with a Nidhogg, but I didn't open any Rafflesia. And I was thinking about playing purple with all the Chaos Gallons. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more that just didn't seem to make sense to me. Chaos Kill is solid, but we only had one Black War Growl. Um, and don't have that much enough rare crafts to make it work, I think. And on top of that, uh, without Mega Digimon Fusion, I think uh, Omnimon Zwart is just less good than regular Omni right now. I think just having to wait a turn to finally be able to use its win attacking effect to use for a deletion effect is just, just going to be too slow overall. I think I want the more immediate impact that Omnimon goes for. But I think we did a lot of changes to make Blue Omni actually work this time. For one, we pulled Marine Devimon. This makes it so that we can actually have a more consistent availability of two cost evos so that I can actually turbo into Omni a lot more. Um, and on top of that, I opened Celamon. Four of them. Which means we now actually have a blocker to work with, which was the reason we didn't we lost last week. Uh, and on top of that, it's another one cost Eva to work with, which means I had to cut the gorilla to fit it in. But I used my lifeline to craft three of these Garurumons, uh, which on top of the Metal Garu craft, I think it gives us a bit of a really strong aggression to work with. And I think this will make the deck actually work out this time. I just clean, This just cleans up the ratios overall. Um, I, I fit in the Cheeky Omnimon X as a one of, you know, I think this, on top of the Hexablau uh, and the other changes, I think means we will definitely not lose to um, Ricky Rush this time. We have all the tools that we need to make it work. Uh, I fit in uh, Sora Joe and Tai Kamiya, Tai and Matt. Uh, just a cheeky uh, extra inclusions. I think Sora Joe plus Hexblau should mean I have enough um, enough strip to make Hexblau like more consistent stun against larger bodies. Um, but it's not uh, overall a good enough strategy for me to go all in on, especially with only one Hexblow. So these are both one ofs. Um, the one of Tai and Matt I think is funny. I think it's a strong enough card to warrant inclusion. My opponent is also climbing into six. The extra memory will help me make my own um, return plays, right? You know, if they make a six, I gain two memory and then I'm able to use that memory to guarantee that I can go into Omni and delete their level six. Um, and then when I do that, the extra security attack plus on it, combined with Omni's ones unsuspend, should really help me push damage enough to make this uh, a game-winning maneuver. Um, so yeah, I really think this time with the addition, additional Marine Debbies and the Celamons, this should actually make this strategy 
work out. This is probably if if this loses me a fourth time, I think I have to retire the the, the notion that Ami Turbo is even remotely the move anymore. I mean, this deck isn't entirely Ami Turbo. Besides that, we're going Metal Garu Garu combo. The other rare craft I used the was for an additional Gabumon, since that's a good play off of Metal Garu. But between these two, I think if I Metal Garu swing, play Garu, and suspend swing, play one of these Gabus, I should guarantee finding one of my Omnis. So that should just make this deck overall really, really consistent. And I'm hoping that's what it's going to be coming down to. Um, we only cut down to one Gaumon to fit in Gabus and Gabus. Mm, mainly because we are we cut the regular Galgas and are only running the 3 Mac. I think that's just good enough for now. But yeah, I just don't think any other strategy it could be going for is going to have the, the same level of consistency as I can put together for, for this blue deck. You know, I, just, I, I can't envision a way I can make purple work can't even make purple like uh, Lilith Loop Winter's Wart function either, I think. I think. Um, I only have the one Lilith, and I think I don't want extra copies. And I just don't think there's just enough ways to fill trash fast enough to make it matter. On top of the fact that without um, Mega Digimon Fusion, it's going to be really hard to make Zwart, uh, Zwart just work out. So I think this is still my best choice. So this is what we're running with again today. Again. I think BT6 is a, a massive set that can really change things up. So I think this is the best chance for me to finally make a strategy like this work out. But let's see if it actually does. Check it out. At least it's not Rookie Rush Smile. <laughs> uh, it, it's actually worse. Uh, this deck was way more toxic to me, Lord Knight. Uh, BT5 format was awful. Uh, from my memory, uh, but Tessero wanted us to play a tall deck. We're playing a tall deck, so let's see how he likes running into Lord Knight. Uh, let's get into the cards. Uh, basically, only two Pikmon, so filled in with the other draw Tamas for yellow. Uh, we were pretty set on rookies, uh, so this was kind of the choice I ended up landing on. I think the weirdest one here is Renamon, but uh, being able to sustain and sec minus and not uh, take damage, I think will be pretty big. Uh, we got a little bit of healing with the Salamon and the Pata. Bushi for Rush. Uh, Cutemon is in there because Tessero did mention that he uh, pulled some Nidhogg and was tempted about playing that last week, and that's a little scary. If he's green, uh, Cutemon could do some damage into the Digizorp, into the HPDs. Uh, Kodemon, I only got two of him. I would be playing more since we're only on three Lord Knight and three Knight, so just a little weak at the top end. I would like to be able to find him better. But uh, he, he mostly whiffs searches anyways. There's a lot of good cards that he misses out on. So not too bummed about him being at low copies. The the max copy card, Starmons, he's a beast. I'm very glad we got four of him. Uh, we actually pulled seven Renamon. So I'm I'm cutting it down to two just for the deck. Uh, Promo Pato will be a sick clutch heal. If we can pull that off, something like a Mastemon spawn it to uh, negate our burn. Uh, I put one Ankylo in here just because a uh, uh, security bomb, I guess. Uh, the level 4s from this deck were ass in that format, too. Like, Gladi was so bad, and you still played that shit. So uh, we just got vanilla 1-cost. So we, we have access to 1-cost blocker in this deck, a huge pro. Uh, Silamon is also available in blue, but other than that, blockers are few and far between. Uh, I suppose we could have added a Mecha, uh, but no way Tessero is going to go that wide on us. Uh, Mecha Nori would be a good tech card, but we'll get to those later. Uh, to the level 5s, uh, Vanilla, Siren, pretty good. Magnand was kind of the last card included here. Uh, we're a little monster heavy with 10, 15, 11, 10, 6. That's, that's kind of big, but we don't have any searching. We don't have any boosts. We don't have a lot of TKs, so we got to deal with what we're given. Uh, Andromon, very good for this deck, uh, being able to flood the board. And again, Sec Minus is very strong. Uh, just the one war row we got to craft last week, uh, just in case we pulled this, and looks like we did. So we'll see if he comes up. The three Nightmon would be nice if it was four, but a free level five is a free level five. Uh, at six, wish we had more slashes. Uh, Maste is a nice uh, game ender with Bushi, pretty big, and uh, only the three LK, the Valder arm we saw last week. 
Uh, and then this was the fun tech card. I pulled two defeat. I want to play him. Uh, there's a world where defeat goes on top of mass day and messes up Tessero, but uh, uh, if he gets checked out of security, that will be very fun. Um, there were holy waves in here, and I changed them to the defeat, so I'd be happy to get either check, so we'll just try that out. Uh, the two blinding, uh, one masquerade, it's really our only removal option. We'll see if that even comes up at all. I don't remember it being that great at the time. Uh, one TK and just Akari, just for fun. Uh, yeah, wish we had more TKs, but uh, this is pretty powerful Lord Knight for how weak our format is. We'll see if Tessero can keep up or if we can get a uh, 4-0 head start on him in this series. Let's see what happens. Disclaimer, we'll be playing our matches on DCGO, which is currently in closed beta, your testers. The public release of this will be in spring. Please be patient. All right. <laughs> Here we go, Sack. Close I'm kind of nervous. I'm hoping that just the, the bands are good enough to make this to make this work this time. I'll I'm... tell you this. I have the same uh, emblem card as last week. <laughs> emblem card. Okay. <laughs> My old deck image. So nothing changed. <laughs> I'll tell you this now. I think not much changed for me either. <laughs> Ah, uh, keeping this hand for sure, I think. I'll keep this as well. Don't be too disappointed. I'm yeah. doing this again. I really <laughs> wanted to get off of it, but I don't think I pulled enough of the cards I needed to do so. Yeah, well, don't be disappointed in me for doing the same thing <laughs> You see, I thought but, about that. I was like, oh no, there's Starmons in this set. He might just be on Rookie Rush again because Starmons plus um, Masquerade makes it really strong. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's Sirenmon Turbo. I think I don't pull up yet. Yeah, I, There's a couple of pulls in here that kind of pushed me into just playing this again. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the lifeline. I just, you know, crafted three uncommons. Here it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I pulled so sick this week. I was so happy. And I was like, man, did the card pull suck or was I just not getting any good pulls? And uh, it's probably both. Oh, my three memory. Mm, let's take... I'd probably be able to clear me, but... I think Toby's a better choice here. I know you should have been more concerned about this being the matchup. Actually, I was concerned about this. It kind of pushed me away from going for a purple. Play card. What I wanted to play was Hexablau. <laughs> I pulled three Hexablau. <laughs> uh, and then when I went into my winter packs, my extra packs, uh, mm -hmm. this just happened. So, <laughs> uh, let's see, you can bounce four. So, I should go to level five. Hope you don't. I think I'm fine if you Zed it. Yeah. Okay, that is a card I wanted to see. Uh, do I activate Digi Burst? I don't think so. I think we just evolve up. Thirteen thousand, I think, makes this work. Oh my God, DDP. Mac I Gow forget. good for more than one thing, huh? Yeah. Fuck. And I that also... Security. Yabu. Yeah. Crafted another yeah. one of. Uh. And then I can follow it up. That fucked up. Yeah. That is tough. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think I made all the right calls here. Pop that gabu. Toray, yeah, makes sense. I'll just Enjoy stun my... that on me. Makes sense. <laughs> it might look a little. It might give away the, the thing. It might be funnier. Yeah. If it's just your POV. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I forgot. Okay. Uh, this is probably one of the main reasons why I decided to do this is that I can just. I finally have two cost Evos. <laughs> oh, that's a good top deck here. Perfect. Yeah, awesome. God damn it, man. I lost this one for sure. Finally. God, 13k Melga. 13k Melga. That guy was a good card, huh? I think all you have to do is like just play. Oh no! Even if he played another body, you just bounce something, and it'd still be in the same position. Yeah. See what we got in here. Well, take that. Okay. Oh fuck. Let's get the jamming in first. Let's go. Use. I okay. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, how do I end this turn? Probably doesn't matter. Just go. With, oh wait. With Lobo. Yeah, with yeah. Lobo. <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, Lobo. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Yeah, good. I didn't want to play that turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go yes. second. All right, so I'm going first. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> You've sure won game one a couple times now. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that was so definitive. <laughs> okay, this hand yeah. is uh, Noah Mulligan. I just played poor. Oh, uh, this actually just works out actually. Kind of. Oh, I can see myself just uh, totally dropping the ball here. Up. Oh, perfect. See him on. Is the other big reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pitomon is a big reason. I would say this too. Mm -hmm. It's literally just the fact that Seelamon and Marine Devi were in this set that pushed me to go back to this strategy instead of like choosing something else. Even though I pulled quite a few cards, um, you know, that help. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's kind of scary. Um,. Just keep in the back for now. We'll go here. Uh, this is probably the right choice. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Next to Blau. Let's play this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, well, I get jamming then. All right? Yeah, yeah, jamming. Didn't work like that. Okay. Ooh. I'm staying back. Just Andrew that. Okay. Let's just put V here. And, uh. God, is this the right call? 
kind of want to do it anyway. Tyke, time at. <laughs> I checked to see if I pull. I didn't pull that card. I was pissed. <laughs> this is kind of nice because if now I put you to two, if you evolve into Lord Knight, that passes the turn. Yeah. And uh, I could potentially gain the memory. Yeah, I gotta think about this. I'll just end and play Stone Lines. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, jamming in a draw? Let's go for it. Okay. Stone Lines. Please give me jamming? Okay. So that works. Okay, that time I did gain the jamming. So. Yeah. Yeah, I see it as well. How big is this? Big enough. Keeping you mm. at two. Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Maste. Maste? You're insane. You just burned yourself another. Yeah, I need it. I get to play a Pitamon in your trash? There's not one there. No. Why would I need Pitamon? Oh yeah, that makes sense actually. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting punished here actually, holy shit. Yeah, yeah you are, man. <laughs> Ugh. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. Uh, actually, I might be fine here. There's your Omni. Of course. Boom. Oh my god. Get that out of here, bro. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay. Yeah, what you got? <laughs> I got something. Uh, I got Rookie. <laughs> you have and fucking Supreme Cannon? I have fucking what? Supreme Cannon. <laughs> 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 Alright, that's fair. Uh, no, 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 no. It's in here. Definitely putting down Salad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you still have that effect. <laughs> I forgot about it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Definitely making this. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, just give two. Damn. I think you got it. I don't see how I can beat this. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Maybe if I see something in security. Because I can put up a blocker at least. But now what? Uh, I have to be... God, one blocker is not enough. You're... no. Hey, it's the only way. These are dying. These are dying. <laughs> First this. Ouch. Another mass day. <laughs> yeah. Good peel. And then... Stormont's... 
Papa Blocker. Oh my god. And then we'll do it again. Oh. Play Storm. <laughs> Fuck Starmons, dude. <laughs> okay. Mouse day for game. Yeah, we're playing Mouse Day this week. Who would have thunk? <laughs> okay. Well, now you're gonna go first. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That was actually pretty sick. I'll admit. <laughs> I had two blindings in hand last game, too. <laughs> God, do I keep this hand or not? Uh, I think it's a mulligan. Oof, I think this is not much better. Oh, man. Why'd I have to get the QP with this hand? Make pillow. Nice. Okay, there's that. And now I'm missing a bunch of other things. Okay. <laughs> I still have this beam on. Base. Play that, and then you... Fuck. Ah, this could find me it. Damn. Goodbye, Supreme Cannon. Goodbye, Seelamon. <laughs> that too. Yeah, I'll just play Starmons and pop it. Okay. Uh, it's a four. Hmm. Not bad. Make Angel one. Okay. Well, we can have that Angevon back. <laughs> That's fine. I'll take board memory. Attack minus Bushy in the back. Make three. Okay. This time I won't wait. I think I regretted not playing Omni last game. Alright. Time to math. See if I can kill that. Oh god. I'm pretty sure I'm not able to kill it. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely safer to just... Sec minus it. Thinking if I wanna do something. Feels like such a waste, but you could just potentially just blow it up next turn anyway. Yeah. So let's do this. <laughs> Get your mega back. 
get, get a, a draw. Get a draw, yeah. yeah. And then we'll just go. Cheap Evos. Okay. Oh. This is always going back there. I think this maths out the best. God, fuck that card, man. <laughs> no. I'm praying that this hits some good tamer. Considering oh, about no. to fucking destroy me. Oh, there we go. There we go. I, I, I thought I might have missed on the Pikmon for a second. It took a little bit. And Slash. God, why does... Why does he get the TP boost too and everything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I put Starmon's out first, but I, I hit 11 anyway. It didn't matter. I'd have had Plessio, then I get the very least Omni money in here, you know? But it doesn't even feel good to Zed here, just because it's all it like, bounces to Star Give me my Star Mines. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. What is the solution here? This doesn't feel right. If only you had Puppet Mons. Oh. oh shit. I don't think Puppet Mon would help here. I just give you 10 and then just you just <laughs> use that to go Puppet. mega wide and I uh, lose anyway. Puppet Chain though. Yeah, Puppet, Puppet Chain. chain. <laughs> just the seal of Wing Pad. We'll play down a Bushi. No way. <laughs> you did your job, LK. You brought up the real MVP. Ooh! Oh. Oh, the game. Oh, I'm a monster for playing LK. I hate myself. <laughs> I mean, it was the move, it looks like. I considered LK because I pulled, like, two of them. But, mm -hmm. like, I didn't think it was the move because I didn't have Valder arm. Oh, that's right. My one slash came up. Only one slash? That's insane. Because if you didn't have it, then <laughs> I might, you wouldn't be able to up my Omni. I had Masquerade. I had Masquerade in hand. Okay. That was also one of the... Yeah, when I was, I was right, opening let's, packs... Let's show each other the decks. Yeah. And that, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, you go ahead. Yeah, here it is. Uh, I used the crafts for extra Garus, or at least the, the lifeline, so that I can... And then I crafted the extra Metal Garu, and I tried to make that the focus of the deck. Yeah. Uh, because I already had a bunch of Omnis to work with, and I pulled one Explow, and I figured with, you know, these options, and this, and this, it's just like, oh. And the big thing was the Seelas plus uh. the Marine Devies to basically clean up the yeah. ratios all over the place and make this... Um, uh, just about a constructed level Omni Turbo, minus the the Plesios, yeah, which at this Omni point Turbo. feel like it wouldn't be that much better than Zed at this point, or Metal Garo. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, it just goes to show just how strong Lord of Night was during this time, and just how just crazily overtuned that that card oh, was. Oh, you even had Absolute Blast. That's the LK counter I used. Both of your option cards are so good into LK. Okay. I know, right? I didn't come up when they needed to. I had Absolute Bast last turn, but, like, what? I can't remove the LK. I can at best remove 
uh, the, yeah, slash. the slash, slash, but I felt like I was going to be behind anyway because it was going to give you six. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got some gabus. You got a good Gargo engine. Yeah. Let's see. I missed on Sora Joe. I was pretty sad about that. So but, uh, yeah, I pulled three Hex out. I was so ready to go into blue. It would have been really funny to play into you. <laughs> <laughs> blue be blue. But... Yeah, I pulled two LK, and then with my five bonus packs, I pulled the third one. I was like, all right, it's over. I have to play this. I pulled so many Omnimons as well. Uh, I I think I pulled two of all of them, except maybe Zwart, regular Zwart. But, I also pulled a ton yeah. of Omnis, right? I pulled two defeats, I pulled one Zwart, and I pulled two Omni X. I didn't pull Bla Bla uh, uh, um, Blitz Omni. Oh, no Blitz? Yeah. Oh, I got him on the first pack. I was like, let's fucking go. That's that's yeah. probably the biggest like lasting card from here, mm -hmm. at least at high rarity. Like the uh, the engines for gray and uh, guard yeah. are really good. I I heavily Last. considered green, and I think green would have been the the best choice, especially in this matchup. But I didn't pull yeah. a single Reflasia. Is the issue? <laughs> I think I pulled I pulled so good this set. I pulled three Reflasia for sure. I pulled three oh, of a lot God. of SRs. God. Yeah. I I mentioned in my deck build that I was scared of you playing Nidhogg. And that's why I included two cute mon. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that was really all the concession I could make. Yeah, I just pulled, I put in every LK card I could and uh, filled out the rest. God. I pulled seven rare Renamon <laughs> in this set. <laughs> basically insane. every R slot was Renamon. <laughs> but yeah, went from Mercury Rush to LK. You can't stop me from being toxic. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for this week. Um, we'll see if things, things change this week, next week. See y'all later. See you next week.